chicken nuggets. This is our balance beam clinic for my five to seven year olds. So I have two towels right here that I rolled up <clears throat> and folded up to make a nice little balance beam for myself. Um, if you want to pause the video, you can pause it and go get something. You can use a blanket. If you have a balance beam, use a balance beam. I know some of you have little mini balance beams at home. Um, also, make sure to get your water, okay? So I have my water right here. We want to make sure we drink our water as we do this. And let's get started. We're going to start by warming up, okay? I'm going to turn on some music and we're going to do some uh, exercises with our balance beam, okay? Here we go. So grab your water and take a sip. Don't forget to drink water while we do this. If you want to pause it to have a break, if you're out of breath, you need water, something crazy happened and you need a grown up, stop doing this and go get your grown up. I, um, I'm using towels, so some of the stuff I'm going to do on the balance beam isn't as scary um, as it would be if you had a balance beam. So, if you have a balance beam at home, you might wanna do the simplest version of whatever I'm doing. If you don't have a balance beam at home, then you can't fall off like my balance beam. So think about that before you get started. If you want um, to use a real balance beam, if you have one, a little mini one, or if you wanna use towels like me. Okay, we gotta stretch. I'm gonna back up here so you can see me. Okay. I'm gonna start with my butterfly stretch. Butterfly. Flat those wings. And bring your nose to your toes. I cannot get my nose on my toes. Well, you chicken nuggets can. Reach out as far in front of you as you can. Good job. Let's go to our pike. That's our straight legs, okay? Let's reach up to the sky and grab your toes if you can. If you can't grab your toes, just reach for them like me or put your nose on your knee if you're super flexible. 
Try to keep those legs straight. Do not bend your knees. Point those toes if you're a seven year old because you are ready to do so. Five year olds, if you can point your toes, that's cool too. Wiggle your legs out. Wiggle them out. And open to a big straddle. Ooh, my legs are very sore because I did a workout a few days ago, a few days ago yesterday, and they hurt now. Okay, give yourself a big hug and reach over your head and try and get your toe. I'm flexing my feet. I like to do it that way. If you want to point your toes, you can point your toes. Whichever one. I like to flex. I think it helps me stretch my hamstring out a little bit better. Grab your body hug. Reach over your head and try and get your toe. Get that toe. You get, get, get it. I can't get mine. Maybe you can. Up high to the sky and down the middle as far as you can. Now I would point my toes. Reach, reach, reach. Sit back up. Try and push your straddle a little bit wider and go back down the middle. Reaching, reaching. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And come on up. Wiggle those legs out again. Ooh, mine are very sore. Okay, sit on your knees. We're gonna sit on our knees. And we're gonna open a book like this. Show me the book. Put it down. Make sure your touch is still on the ground. Keep those chicken nugget tushies on the ground. Keep your hands all the way on the ground. Make sure you're not just putting your fingertips down like this. Your whole hand goes on the ground. Come on up. Make kitty cat paws like this. And put them down. And again, your whole hand goes on the ground and you keep your tush on the ground too. No tushies in the air. Come on up. And let's make some spaghetti, spaghetti, meat, ball, meat, ball, cheese, cheese, cheese. Let's do it again. Spaghetti, spaghetti, meat, ball, meat, ball, cheese, cheese, cheese. Let's do it super fast. Spaghetti, spaghetti, meat, ball, meat, ball, cheese, cheese, cheese. That was crazy. Okay, let's do our necks. Let's reach up, grab your head, and gently pull it to the side. Don't pull super hard, it's gonna hurt you. Just pull gently. Well, nice and gently. Don't have your shoulders up like this. My seven-year-olds, make sure they're down like that. Switch it over. Pull on that head gently. Gently, gently, gently. Two hands together behind your head. Lean forward and pull your head down gently. Be safe. Come on up and roll your head out. My hat's getting in the way. Go the other way with your head. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Shake your head, yes. I like candy. Shake your head, no. I don't want to eat vegetables. Just kidding, vegetables are super delicious. Okay, put your hands out to the side and we're going to make circles for our shoulders. I'm going backwards. You can go whatever way you want. Big circles, big circles, big circles, little circles. Big circles, big circles, little circles. And freeze, go the other way. Little circles, big circles, little circles, big circles, and stop. Reach in your arm in front of you and give it a big hug. Give it a big hug. Switch it up. Hug the other arm to your chest. Give it a big hug. I love you, arm. Except, I don't think this is my favorite arm, but shh, don't tell it. It doesn't need to know. All right. Wiggle your shoulders out. Go like this. Be a washing machine. Woo. Good job. All right. We are going to do our splits, okay? I cannot do a split, but that's okay. I'm gonna try it anyways. I'm gonna sit up on my knees, put one foot in front, hands on each side of my leg, and then I'm gonna push into my split however far that is. Push, push, push. Keep your knee to the sky, and your other knee goes to the ground. Five-year-olds, 
you don't have to do a split. If you want to get some water or just chill out, that's cool. Come on up. Switch it up. Other leg in front. Hands on the ground. Push into that split. This is especially important for my six and seven year olds. Five year olds, if you want to try it, give it a try. Be safe. If you don't, don't do it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Mine's not very far, is it? My right leg's really bad. That's okay, it'll get better. Okay, come on up. And let's do a tabletop for my five-year-old. So five-year-olds, I wanna see you do a tabletop and walk around like this slick crap. Six and seven-year-olds, I wanna see you do your bridge. All right, so six and seven-year-olds, you're doing a bridge. Five-year-olds, you're doing crab walks. One, two, three, go, bridge. I'm gonna crab walk with my five-year-olds. Can you give me a high foot? Boom. Other foot, boop, okay? If you're in a bridge, try and pick up one foot or scratch your belly with one hand. We can do that too, five-year-olds. Crushing it, friends. Come on down. Hug your knees, rock and roll it out. Rock and roll, rock and roll. And stand up. Good job, my friends. You did it. All right, let's get some more water. Keep drinking your water. It is super good for you. All right, we're gonna break down some skills on our balance beam, because this is our skill clinic, yeah. Okay, so I might do a little more talking than normal. But we're gonna start with just some basic walks, okay? This is good for everybody. I'm gonna start with releve walks. What is releve? Do we remember? Releve is, put down here, tippy toes, all the way up on your tippy toes, not here. This is not releve. This is releve, okay? I'm gonna put my arms up in this position. This is fifth position, like I'm holding a big beach ball, but don't pop the beach ball, okay? And don't let the beach ball go. I'm gonna hold it tight, okay? Releve is like this. My five-year-olds, we're gonna walk across and relevé. Try to stay, do not put those heels down. Turn around, do it again. Okay, we're gonna do that over and over. My six and seven-year-olds, you're gonna be on relevé. When you get to the end, five-year-olds, you can try this if you want to, but six and seven, we are going to pivot turn. Remember when I clean the balance beam with my feet, heels never touch the ground. When you pivot turn, watch my feet closely, I never pick them up, they just slide, okay? You guys are amazing, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna need a pillow or your stuffed animal or whatever you have. Um, I'm gonna use a pillow. We're gonna talk about our passe walks, okay? So for our passe walks, we have to bring our toe, I'm gonna get really close to the screen. I'm bringing my toe next to my knee. Next to, not on. This is not it, don't do this, this. Beautiful, right next to it, or turn out. But we're gonna do parallel here, okay? So I don't wanna see this. That is a yoga pose, it is not passe, okay? That is tree pose, yoga, which is totally cool, but that's not what we're doing. Just put it next to it like this. My ankle's a little crooked. Okay, grab your stuffed animal. Now the reason we have this is our passe needs to be high enough to hold my dinner plate without me losing all of my food because I'm super hungry and I wanna eat dinner tonight. So, I'm gonna make passe with my toe next to my knee. My knee's up high, it's flat. I could put my dinner plate on it. So I'm gonna put my pillow on it and see if I could put a dinner plate on it. 
<laughs> Arms out to second position. That's this way, reaching outwards and hold it. If your dinner plate slides off, your leg's not high enough. Okay, you can have your leg too high too. Then you'll be leaning backwards like this and you'll wanna fall over. That's too high. Just somewhere in the middle, just like Goldilocks, right in the middle. Right here, arms out, hold it. I'm gonna turn on some music and we're gonna balance our pillow. Let's do it. So now we know that we don't put our foot on our knee. We can, we have to hold our uh, knee high enough to hold the dinner plate, right? And we're putting our leg in front of us like this. We're not gonna do ballet turnout for this because we're gonna be walking and you don't walk like this. At least I don't, but maybe if you're an alien from another planet, maybe you walk that way and that's cool. I'm not judging you. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do passe walks across the balance beam. Look, pay attention though. When I do my passe walks, I'm not kicking. I see this all the time in class. We'll passe walk and someone will kick. Big dramatic step, kick. We definitely will do passe kick. That's a super cool skill. But we're not doing that right now. We're just walking. So my six and seven year olds, if you want a challenge, do this on releve like this. It'll be a lot harder, okay? Five year olds, you can do it on your flat feet. Make sure you're holding your dinner plate. You ready to try it? pretty good. There was a time there where I thought I was going to fall off, but I didn't fall off with my towel balance beam. And that's pretty cool. I'm going to get some more water. Drink some more water, friends. <clears throat> so for my next activity, we have to practice what a, um, a lunge is. So. Our lunge, most of you already know, I'm gonna do it on the balance beam. Put my feet in puzzle feet. Remember puzzle feet? That's when our feet are like this, so that all of our toes can be on the balance beam, okay? They're not like this. If these were my feet, they are not next to each other like this. They're one in front of the other, a little bit. Like this. I'm gonna reach up. Oh, no I'm not, I'm so sorry. I'm in a tall body like this. And then I'm gonna step out with my favorite foot and I'm gonna lunge, lean forward. Heel stays on the ground. My back foot should not be like this. Keep that heel on the ground. If you can't keep your heel on the ground, it means your leg's too far away from you and you should bring it in. Arms go up to my hollow body, squeezing my ears and I'm leaning forward. All my weight is on my front foot. I could lift my back foot like this if I wanted to and go back to tall body. Let's try that again. So make sure you're in your puzzle feet. Puzzle feet, tall body, arms are here, shoulders are down, chest and chin are up. I'm going to lunge, one, two, three, lunge, boom. Squeezy, 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 get rid of that arch. Holding tight, heels are down. And go back to tall body. One more time. Puzzle feet, tall body, chest up, chin up. Stepping forward, squeeze your ears. Squeeze your ears. And come on back to our puzzle feet. Crush it. So now we're gonna take our lunge and make a T lever. So a T lever is just like my name. My name's Trent and it starts with a T. 
See how there's one leg like this, and then the rest of the T goes like this? That's what we're gonna do with our bodies, okay? So, I'm gonna start with my puzzle beat. One foot slightly in front of the other. Arms up, squeezing my ear. Oh, not yet. I keep doing that prematurely. Step out to your lunge. Arms up to your ears, okay? It's important to bend this leg when you do it. When you do a T lever, everyone tries to keep their legs straight like this, and then they fall over. If you can't bend your leg, then you're not squeezing your leg muscles. If your leg is straight, you can't squeeze. So make sure to bend your supporting leg. Squeeze your ears. I'm in my lunge, and I'm gonna lift my back up, my back foot up. Woo, I almost fell over. I make a T with my body, okay? Bend that supporting leg. Your supporting leg is where all your ability to balance is, because it's the only thing anchoring you to the ground. Hold it tight. Woo. But when you come down, don't come down like I just did. Try to go from T lever, back to lunge, back to tall body, so that everything looks perfect like you're an Olympic gymnast. Lunge, T lever, point that toe. Ah! I fell off my balance beam. I wouldn't be good if I was on a real balance beam right now. T lever, lunge, tall body. Sound good? We're gonna do a bunch of those. important to remember is that if I'm gonna do a tiger tail I need to go through my T lever okay so you don't start here put your arms down and then just pick your leg up and be like I did it you have to start here in your lunge you have to make a T lever first and then go down to your tiger tail five-year-olds we're just doing T levers okay you don't have to do anything more than that let's keep going let's gymnast passe walks to the middle of the beat passe walk passe walk puzzle feet arms down lunge squeeze your ears hollow body T lever or tiger tail and back up to lunge tall body let's do a jump jump land on the balance beam Jump down, freeze body, land safe, finish. Boom. Can we do it again? One more time, then we'll do it with music. Arms out. Passe walks across the balance beam. Passe walk. Chest is up, chin is up. We're performing for all of our family and friends. We have hi to your family and friends. Hey, thanks for coming to my performance. Arms down, puzzle feet, lunge, lunging out. 
T lever or tiger tail. Come back up to lunge. Tall body. Jump. Land. Jump off the balance beam. Freeze body. Stretch. Finish. Good job. Have an amazing week. Um, Grown ups, if you're in the room, visit our webpage for all of our information. Um, follow, like, share, comment, social media, our website. Donate if you have the funds to do so. Even four or five dollars makes a big difference so we can keep making this material. I um, hope you had fun. And there are more classes coming up, so stay tuned. <laughs>